Wahala vile quitting. See guys, eh? Sometimes we just need to have a very good laugh. I saw this video and it was absolutely <laughs> hilarious. Hey, hilarious is like an understatement at this point too. <laughs> but basically, a bunch of people in the north cannot be precise were seen in the streets looking like people that have lost, you know, their number six. And actually, I had to ask my cousin that, please, what are they saying in this video? Because for those that don't know, yes, I'm from the north, but I don't understand the language. So I had to ask, what are they saying in this video? And he replied me. But basically, let's watch that video and I'll be right back. I'm sure you saw that video. If you don't understand, if you are, if you are from the north, you can please translate, or if you understand Alsa language, please translate for us in the comment section. And for those that don't understand, basically, they are celebrating mad people like this country and cruise <laughs> this is the funniest thing i've seen and then to make it worse the guy that was actually videoing it and you know laughing i mean it's crazy you could see the way they all came out in their you know regalia looking mad i mean like celebrating mad people really <laughs> It's all good. May we not see anything that will make us go crazy because, yeah, in as much as it's laughable, people going through, you know, mental situation is a very serious thing. And a lot of Nigerian youths, you know, are going into that. They are going gaga because of the kind of things they take, their intake and whatnot. Because of what some youths they take into their systems, you know, there are lots of them out there. And, you know, Really, it's, which is not good for their health and can actually lead to, you know, insanity. I don't understand fully the, I wish I understood the language, but it just told me that they were celebrating madness. So, I mean, I really don't understand, but if you do, please leave a comment section for us and let's just get into the gist. Let's get in. Manigo. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Princess Vanigo and I'm an Nigerian content creator based right here in Lagos. To all my returnees, you are welcome. And if you are new, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate every click. I have a couple of gist for you guys and let's just dive right into this gist. Let's start with Nurse Glory. I mean, she, she seems to be on my list a lot this day because obviously she has given me something to talk about. So I was watching a video from a platform and, you know, people have started dragging her once again, telling her why didn't she bring her son back with her to, you know, um, Dubai. So in yesterday's video I did, I told you guys why she already left Dubai. If you've not seen it, please go to my channel. You can feel free to go to her channel and catch up more about the whole thing because I just bring a little fraction, you know, of what they're saying here for you guys to just catch up and know what's going on with your faves you understand you understand anyway guys so according to nurse glory our boyfriend's parent hurt her a lot but she did not open up to tell us what the boyfriend's parent actually did but according to her she told them to come see her while she was in abuja and that she was going to pay for flights for them to come around but they did not come because she did not want to tell them that she's not going to be letting a child come back to stay with them so she decided to I mean, invite them over, but they did not come. They said they had church program to attend. So she did not allow her son to go back to Abuja to meet with her boyfriend's parent. And she said she received a lot of bashing from the family, the boyfriend's parent. They were like, oh, after all we did for you, we paid hospital bill. We did this. We, you know, sent you transport to come back to Nigeria and all that. Um, for those that don't understand, the boyfriend in question is no more. And that child 
is the only thing still connecting that family to the boy. But the boy was never married to Nurse Glory, and he never told his parents that she was pregnant for him when he was alive, according to Nurse Glory. So she was going through a lot that time. One of her sister passed from, you know, cancer, and she couldn't allow our son or a child to also be with her mom because they were not financially balanced yet so the best option she had was to leave the boy with the grandparents as a den so that she can focus on other things but right now the family are not happy with us glory because she decided to take the boy because she's trying to file in for the boy to come and join her in dubai and i think it's a good one according to her she wets her bed by crying some of the sometimes because she misses her son and she was saying that anybody that can support her, I don't know what she meant in that regards, you know, I don't know, I don't know, but she mentioned it in the video, but you could go watch it there. <laughs> All these are YouTubers, I've uh, been on Facebook as well. I don't know what she meant by support, maybe if they know the document or his money, I don't know which kind of support she's looking for. But that is what I heard and that is what I've come to tell you guys. But let's just jump into the next gist okay yesterday i made a video about those boys that were arrested for you know celebrating um you know their gay gay marriage right here in nigeria and <laughs> their oga pata pata in the industry which is bob risky came outside to talk and according to him he made a post on instagram saying that these boys who came out to be getting married and doing a gay gay in nigeria don't they know that nigeria constitution doesn't support a gay gayism or a gay gayish or anything a gay gay and that why are they actually you know celebrating a gay gay in nigeria why would they be doing that that it is good for them that this is what they deserve that they deserve everything that is coming to them for them being arrested i even saw somewhere that somebody that did not know who thought he was actually attending a fashion show had to bail himself with 70 or 80 thousand naira one of the people that were arrested anyway this is just a lesson for some people that before you go somewhere know what you are going for if that person is telling the truth and if you don't know what is going on don't carry yourself and go there and you nigerian youths that are celebrating a gay gay i'm not going to tell anybody what to do or what their preference of you know what they like should be but you know that the law of the land doesn't support it i totally support bob risky i support bob risky in this aspect carry your you know celebration and take it outside nigeria if you can afford it okay and go and live your life in a country where it's accepted but nigeria is saying they won't accept it you know people are saying why can't they arrest bob risky and co well because of the explanation bob risky now gave i now understand bob risky is just doing cross-dressing he didn't get married maybe if bob risky finds a man now that he wants to marry maybe bob risky will also travel out of the country so i guess that is why they've not actually arrested bob risky because he has not come outside on social media to say oh he loves a man or he's getting married to a man according to them maybe because he's just you know doing his own how do they call it dressing like a female thing so it's fine anyway let's just move into the next geez but please leave your thoughts in the comment section what do you think of what bob risky said do you agree with him do you disagree with him let me know so i made a video about you know um you know if he's what yesterday and somebody left a quite a lengthy comment about you know hypocrisy and whatnot and some people were giving their displeasure about them not supporting what she was doing with her child uh, see guys i just want to be truthful here like we are all parents most of us we are parents and you know those that are not parents yet are going to be parents if they want to they're going to be parents tomorrow i feel that everyone is entitled to do what they want to do with their children like it's your child you were the one that will carry that child in your womb for nine months so i will not come out here and judge that kind of thing because it is it has to do with a child and that is what the parent chose to do with their child now right we might see it that is wrong or you might say this is wrong and the parent is not saying it that's wrong and it won't change anything but the only thing that i can do for myself is if i feel like I don't like what a certain parent is doing to their child. I will not allow my child associate with that child. Doesn't mean the child is a bad person, just that I don't want that influence. I'm just saying, I'm not saying that is what I'm going to do, but if I feel like that is the least you can do as a parent, not wanting your ch child to associate with a child that does that kind of thing because you don't want the influence. I mean, at this level, but when the child grows older, uncle, how much can you actually separate them? But it's all good. I just said I should drop that that here. That I am not being hypocritical for not, you know, castigating if his word or saying stuff to her. I'm just saying that, you know, 
people are free to do what they want to do with their children. If he's an adult now, maybe if his world is dressing like a man, I would give my two cents fully as regards to that. But because this is a child sensitive issue, you have to tread cautiously when you're saying things that pertains to children. I hope you guys understand that. And anyway, let's just jump into the next gist. Who a lot of people on the street reactors and commenters have tried to advise and Dinah kept saying she has coconut head actually Dinah linked both our channel dissect and Dinah Ikweme but checking it today I made a video yesterday about her you know I think yesterday or the day before I'm not sure at this moment but I realized that Dinah has on dissect <laughs> if there's a word like that both channels and the channels are not linked anymore hmm coconut head got nothing on youtube diner nobody is saying don't talk but uh talk with wisdom youtube has guidelines follow their guidelines but uh they say you will not uh, obey who are we to stop a grown woman from doing what she wants to do nobody let's talk real worry picking hmm this should even be a full documentary on its own like it's something i'm supposed to just sit down and dissect that there is something or almost one hour video that she did but let me just talk briefly on the things that real worry pekin said i know really i agree that a lot of us want to own our bodies we want to be comfortable in our bodies but trust me being overweight when it starts affecting your health is not a funny thing and you know our eating habits play a great role in that sometimes Especially we blacks, we don't take exercises serious. I inclusive, right? And I'm trying to start after watching that worry picking. I am not as big as her. I don't have issues with my health, but when I check my weight these days and I see that oh, I have added two kg, I've added three kg. Trust me, guys, get me concerned. And we don't have to wait until we get to real worry picking stage. But I'm gonna tell you guys everything she said in the B. But we don't have to wait till we get to our stage before we start being cautious of our health we can start doing little exercises you know intermittent fasting you know um intermittent fast um you know watching our food adding more fruits and veggies to our food you know watching our food and adding more fruit and fruits and veggies to our food i don't know why my tongue is having a twist that there but yeah we can do all those things to just help ourselves but according to real worry picking she almost died from being overweight like she had tried and tried done exercises done everything but it was not working until she went under the knife to do a surgery she has not broken down in details the type of surgery she did but the only way that surgery i know they do is when they go to you know cut a fraction or a portion of the stomach so that you don't take you know so much and people are already dragging out on social media saying that oh um nobody should believe what she's saying i saw a video on just love where somebody was already saying don't believe this don't believe that she had not even come outside to tell you guys what she did and i don't know if people were taking a picture of before and after and mixing it and trying to sell their herbs or whatever you know but real worry picking went under the knife to actually get the body she has right now and trust me she's looking healthier she's looking better she's looking amazing she's in a good space which we shouldn't allow our health to deteriorate you know to the point where we have to go under the knife it's not everyone that can afford it it's a costly surgery i see lots of women on tiktok who result to that because they've tried every other thing and it's not working and it's okay if that is what you can you know result to if you can afford it but if you can't as a young lady don't leave yourself to get to that state because you enjoy eating everything putting everything into your mouth try and you know do your little little exercises and you know just try and keep fit we know it's not easy but i am also struggling with my exercises trust me guys and trust me even that fit farm lifestyle is not cheap you know fruits are not cheap nothing is cheap but i mean we just have to try okay anyway guys basically that is the gist i have for you guys today please leave your thoughts with me in the comment section about what you think about everything you've heard here so far and i will see you guys in another video bye for now